Hello guys, good morning, good day to all. This is Mike Padua and it's good to be back after uh, two weeks of uh, not giving you the YouTube updates. As I said, we got exhausted after those seven back-to-back uh, -back storms within the Philippine Air Responsibility last September. And since we have a two-week uh, quiet conditions across the Western Pacific, so we need to rest because of my anxiety uh, conditions. Okay, and right now I'm good, good to be back. And uh, uh, the uh, quiet uh, dry phase of the modern Julian Oscillation is about to depart our basin. And here again is the wet phase, which is set to arrive into our basin beginning October 20 to 26. And we are keeping an eye of a possible low pressure system that could form east of the country, but there's no development yet. And uh, just uh, for the past uh, few weeks, we have a couple of hurricanes hitting uh, Florida. I have my relatives, relatives there and uh, I informed them and uh, monitoring that uh, hurricanes uh, Helene and uh, Milton but here in the country it's it's safe okay and uh, just a usual afternoon or evening tropical rain showers and thunderstorms will still persist for the rest of the week no uh, LPAs so far and uh, uh, before we begin with the latest update, we are going also to give you the very latest on the La Nina. And we are going to uh, give you the very latest on the last part of this uh, video. So, before we begin, uh, this uh, uh, weather analysis English version is brought to you by Taifun 2000 and uh, Naga College Foundation. But before we begin, we'd like to uh, thank our partners. Aboitis Power, Bank of the Philippine Islands Sustainable with you. If you're interested, just click on the link up here. Or if you're watching via Facebook, visit the description page for more details regarding BPI Sustainable with you. The local government of Naga City, headed by our Honorable Mayor Nelson Legacion and our Honorable Congressman of the 3rd District of Kamagani Sur, Congressman Gabi Bordad. So let's uh, start with our update. I'm still going to create the new graph set, but here's the latest uh, fast animation from Cyclonic Weather or CycloniceWX.com. This is from the Himawari 9 satellite loop. And as you can see, we are now uh, seeing the start of the northeasterly wind flow affecting Batanes and uh, some easterlies affecting the eastern sections of Luzon from eastern Cagayan down to northern Quezon so there might be some uh, occasional rains and uh, thunderstorms particularly uh, in the coastal areas of these uh, provinces or areas of Luzon the rest of the country will still have good weather but in the afternoon or evening we expect this uh, afternoon we expect these local thunderstorms to persist for a couple of minutes to uh, one or two hours, and that's it. Outside of PAR, it's uh, a couple of tropical waves. We have one here and another one here, but uh, still not expected to develop. We have a uh, possibility of a low pressure area that could form in the vicinity of uh, the Western Pacific, and it's forecast to pass here and uh, likely to become a uh, strong LPA or even a uh, subtropical storm moving to the south of Japan nothing to worry so that will be between today until uh, October 20 so this is now the system that good luck towards that area and uh, here's the latest uh, forecast for the next three days from uh, the uh, European model since this is our basis when it comes to uh, accurate uh, forecast of uh, the weather systems across the western pacific although the american model is also good within the span of three days and uh, the wind is uh, perfectly accurate compared to the uh, rainfall while the rainfall is um, accurate if we use the uh, european model 
So here's the uh, forecast. It's generally easterlies across Luzon, eastern sections of Luzon particularly, and uh, Batanes, Babu and Kabul Islands. The rest of the country will remain calm to variable winds. Tuesday, it's all uh, quiet. And until uh, Wednesday uh, to Thursday, it's just uh, taking turns, the easterlies and northeasterlies. And here's the LPA that we are monitoring, but uh, not that to our country. It will uh, start to move towards the north over the open sea south of Japan. And uh, what I am going to monitor next is, uh, oh, by the way, this is now the first glimpse of the northeast monsoonal flow. It's just a northeasterly wind flow, but later on this November it will strengthen in the full blown northeast monsoon but during the last week of october we can already witness some effects of this northeasterly monsoonal flow across uh, taiwan and southeastern china and here's the area that we are going to keep an eye beginning october 22 tuesday and october 23 it looks like it's organizing and it's quite a large system which i'm worried that it may affect our country but let's hope that it will recurve so we will monitor this system in the coming days okay so no worries it's uh, quasi stationary southwest of guam east of palau okay now uh, here's the uh, rain forecast as usual in the afternoon evening in various sections of the country we expect uh, afternoon evening rain showers and thunderstorms and uh, as well as tomorrow but less uh, chances of rain over eastern Visayas and Bicol region tomorrow Tuesday but uh, on Wednesday let me check it out Wednesday afternoon there might be some showers over Bicol Visayas with uh, isolated thunderstorms across Visayas and Mindanao and on Thursday uh, afternoon nothing much just a few showers or possible thunderstorms over Bicol um, Mindanao and uh, Visayas also over northern Palawan so generally speaking when we speak of uh, the next three days these are all the uh, possibility of localized thunderstorms for today until Thursdays across uh, most parts of the country becoming more frequent over Palawan, Visayas, and Mindanao. And here across the eastern sections of Luzon as well because of the prevailing easterlies and northeasterly wind flow. Okay, so that's the uh, uh, scenario right now. And for the wave forecast, uh, for the next three days until Thursday, it's generally be uh, okay when it comes to the wave heights. It's only a uh, slight, a little uh, moderate over the eastern sections of our country because of the ongoing easterlies and northeasterly wind flow. So this is around 1 to 1 1.5 meters, while over the inland waters of the Philippine Islands, it remains calm to uh, about uh, almost a half a meter of wave height as well as here over the west philippine sea kalayan island group spotless panatag shoal it will just reach up to a height of half a meter or one meter uh, except for the uh, northernmost part of the west philippine sea it's the same with the east philippine sea about uh, 1.5 meters in wave heights okay now let's take a look at the modern julian oscillation this is the forecast from the climate prediction center of NOAA, october 13 to 27 and we are now again returning to another wet phase after two weeks of the dry conditions as you can see when we have dry phase here the activity are more on the atlantic side uh, west coast of africa that's why you uh, witness uh, or we witness uh, back-to-back -back, uh, hurricanes over the uh, Gulf of Mexico and uh, right now we're still on the uh, dry phase departing and uh, in the coming days 
between October 15 to uh, 20. We are now moving into the wet phase of the mud engineering installation. It will become active during October 20 to 27. Okay, so prepare for a possibility of development of low pressure areas, tropical cyclones, but let's hope and pray it's only a few and it will track away from our country. That's what we hope since uh, this time of the year it's really uh, scary when it comes to tropical cyclone developments and take note tropical cyclones right now during the time of uh, w the global warming it tends to rapidly intensify because of uh, very warm uh, sea surface temperatures including the oceanic heat content or the tropical cyclone heat potential over the western pacific as well as in uh, other parts of the globe so let's take a look at the La Nina. How's the La Nina right now? Um, it's uh, currently uh, 60 to 75 percent probability that we are moving into a slight La Nina this November, December to February 2025. And uh, here's the anomalies. This is the uh, sign that we are uh, having some cooler sea surface temperatures over the Central Pacific. So that's a sign that uh, we are moving into uh, La Nina, a slight La Nina, or maybe uh, still uh, on the boundary of the La Nina. So here's the model predictions of Enso from uh, September 2024. So right now we are moving into this phase. By the way, this is negative 1.0 degrees centigrade. That's the threshold if the uh, forecast extend over that line. It means that we are moving into La Nina. So there might be a possibility of a slight La Nina. There are some uh, exceeding negative 1.0. But it looks like uh, we are still into neutral condition for the rest of the year. Okay. So that is some good news when it comes to... Uh, the amount of rainfall it will be uh, not higher than normal okay but uh, still the forecast for October we are now expecting the, uh, the chance of uh, La Nina to increase to 60% by November it will be 71% uh, and by December it will be uh, 74 percent and then it will start to recede by january february and then by march we are back into neutral conditions so we have a window here of a slight la nina but like i said it could be uh, near the boundary of la nina so we we are also expecting that maybe we will be still into the neutral climate so that's good news when it comes to the amount of rainfall across the country. It will be not strong or heavy enough or uh, the amounts will be just on the normal range of the monthly uh, uh, rainfall uh, uh, average of our country. Okay, and uh, when it comes to tropical cyclone formation, this is taken from Pagasa. These are the uh, climatology uh, data. This is their uh, climatology uh, data when it comes to tropical cyclones. So for the remaining months of the year, October, November, December, we expect four to seven tropical cyclones to enter or form within the Philippine area of responsibility. Uh, we don't mind yet this uh, in January to March since this is the least uh, formation, the least months of the tropical cyclone formation since we are going into uh, cooler months. So uh, uh, let's uh, pray and hope that most of this uh, remaining tropical cyclone formation will track towards the north without any landfall. But again, look at this climatological track of Pagasa from uh, uh, what year is this? 1948 to 2015, October, November, and December. Majority of the storms are still crossing the Filipino Islands, or it's really visiting us. So I hope that these cyclones will not uh, become stronger 
or just uh, a topic of depression or low pressure system. But again, I'm here to give you the very latest in the coming uh, weeks and uh, for the last few months of the year. So stay tuned for more updates on our weather situation here in the Western Pacific and the Philippines. Again, this is Mike Padua and see you again uh, in the middle of the week for another update. And let's all pray and hope for a nice uh, Christmas celebration here in the country. God bless. Stay safe always. And thank you so much for watching. See you again.